In this video, we will be discussing different types of optical systems as well as a few examples of each. There are two main types of optical systems. We have imaging and non-imaging systems. Within our non-imaging systems, there are also laser and illumination, so we'll take a look at both of those. And the reason why it's important to understand these types of optical systems is that before beginning any project, you will need to determine which type of system you need to best fit your application. So imaging systems, as the name implies, is going to capture images for a camera or other sensor through the focusing of light, typically with lenses or focusing mirrors. So some examples of this include lens assemblies, microscope objectives, or reflective objectives. A basic example of an imaging system is a camera, of course, and how a camera works is light is going to enter from the object to be imaged into the lens. So here on the image we see light indicated by the red arrows is passing into the camera where it's then manipulated by these lenses which are forming a lens assembly. So here we are hitting step number two. The assembly of lens elements manipulates incident light and focuses it on the detector. So again, going back to the diagram, we have the manipulation of light occurring in this lens assembly being focused and then imaged onto the sensor, which is located at the back of the camera. Next, we have our non-imaging systems. So non-imaging systems are going to either collect, disperse, resize, focus, or collimate light. And we have two different types of non-imaging. We have laser systems. So a few examples of a laser system may include materials processing, medical lasers, sensing, and direct energy. And then we also have illumination systems, which include projectors, which you're likely fairly familiar with, along with automotive headlamps. An example of non-imaging non optical system is materials processing, and how this works is components such as mirrors, focusing lenses, or other optics direct laser onto material in order to cut, weld, mark, or engrave it. And these are always designed for a certain focus spot size, laser power, and wavelength to achieve the desired results. So a familiar example of materials processing may be laser cutting. Laser cutting can actually either cut out entire parts as it kind of seems to be doing in this image. It can also engrave parts. So that difference between engraving and cutting parts has to do with this specific laser power adjustment. For our illumination non-imaging example, we have a projector. So how a projector works is a basic projection lens system collects light from a diverging lens source. This then sends out light for desired working distance and projected image size. However, unlike imaging systems, light is not focused to a point. So if we take a look at the schematic on the bottom, we see the projection lens system is located here. And this is where the rays from the divergent light source are going to come through. And from here, our image is projected onto our projection screen, which oftentimes is, or just a image plane of some sort. 